All right. So DJ goes on. He says, what's it like now with Triple H running things? There's a fun picture. I saw it on social. We know he wore the leather coat to come out and do the DX, but there's a picture of him behind the scenes. He's got reading glasses on the <laughs> leather jacket with Bruce Percher beside him and uh, William Regal beside him and gorilla. But it's like, he's still in his full gimmick, but the reading glasses and still working hard behind the show. <laughs> when we were rehearsing outside uh, out in the ring earlier in the day, he had the glasses on. <laughs> it's like, I'm, it's so weird to see Triple H like that, you know? Yeah. You, you don't realize, you know, guys get older, people get older. They That's start right. Vision. I mean, they all had glasses. Shawn Michaels had them on. Uh, everybody had their glasses on in the ring. I, I was the only one that didn't. I felt actually pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Waltman, but dude, Sean Waltman put you over on social media. He put out a, a Kurt Angle appreciation post. I thought that was pretty fun. You know what? He came up to me and he said, listen, man, you're one of the greatest. Uh, I really enjoyed watching your career and seeing you start out when I was in DX. And, you know, what you did is incredible. And I have so much respect for you. And he even said, hey, the, the thing we did tonight uh, with, you know, DX and you, he said, you carried that whole thing. I, I'm like, no, I didn't. You know, I, I just, I said a few lines, you know, I answered a few questions. He said, it's just how you did it. You know, you were being the, 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 the normal Kurt angle, the unusual Kurt angle that people always, uh, you know, the funny, dorky, yeah, the goofy guy. But, yeah. Um, you know, but he was really cool. And I, you know, I, I told him how much I loved his career and followed his career. And, uh, you know, I even told him that I watched him in WCW and, you know, uh, we, we really hit it off. So, the next day or the day or two days later, he tweets this out. And I was like, whoa, you know, so I, I tweeted him back and said, no, you're the best. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it's, it's a, such a camaraderie. And, it, and what I was excited about was because, you know, we talk is you being able to catch up, like you said, with the boys, because you guys don't always text and talk with each other all the time. It's no, events you like know what? this. You're right, Paul, the wrestling business. It's really sad because you live with these guys and girls on the road. You're with them than more than you are with your family. But when it's done, nobody keeps in touch. Nobody calls each other. Nobody reaches out. Just the ones that are very, very close, you know, maybe Triple H and Shawn Michaels, you know, but but for the most part, nobody really keeps in touch with each other. I, I mean, I, I text Triple H every couple months, you know, he'll text me back or, or he'll get a hold of me every couple months, but it's not a lot. I don't hear anything from Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, uh, you know, all my closest friends, you know, uh, even Shelton Benjamin, I, I never hear from him. So it's a sad business in that, in that category. But it turns into a family reunion quickly at these events. 